this uh, part of the station. Thanks, Warren. Uh, so, as Warren said, uh, my name is Dennis Fermet. I'm an agri coach uh, out of Winnipeg. And I've got with me uh, Greg Lewis from uh, Aerial Insight, which is a uh, local uh, uh, company here in Brandon. And what we're uh, wanting to show you here today is, uh, is just a demo flight of the crop cam. And it's, uh, it's an alternative to uh, On the unit there so I'll let him uh, uh, tell you a little bit about that while they uh, launch the plane and you guys can kind of watch uh, watch it go there Great, thanks uh, yeah basically uh, to give you some history on it I don't know how many people here are familiar with crop cam and I've heard about that there's been quite a few articles written in that on it uh, I've had a crop cam for about four years now and I've been flying it uh, it's produced by a company out of Manitoba called Micropilot and um, Basically, it's got an autopilot inside, has gyros that measure the pitch roll and the yaw, and a GPS that tells it uh, where it is, and it flies a pattern taking pictures. does a great job of it, but I've seen that there's kind of a gap with some of the technology in terms of taking those pictures and actually using them for something. So uh, I've started Aerial Insight, and basically what it is, we're designing a new platform around the same uh, technology, partnering with Micropilot as well. Um, and adding some of the things in it, some automated flight patterns and things like that. So right now you'd have to go to a corner of a field and fly from a specific corner. With our new software, you can go to the field, anywhere you are on the field, you look at your GPS unit, you plug in the coordinates, you pass a shape file or a boundary file of the, to, the, to the software, you tell it what camera you're using and what spatial resolution you want, and it actually determines the flying height of the plane. You say what end lap and side lap you want, and it determines and actually calculates the pattern. You upload that to the plane, and it, then it flies it autonomously. So it flies it basically um, on its own. Uh, right now, we're, developed with, we're developing stabilized cameras and a two-camera system, one that does near-infrared wavelengths and the other one that does color. So you're essentially getting the four bands of Landsat with this. Uh, typical resolution, you're talking... Uh, 400 feet is about as low as we're going to fly, but the air is pretty turbulent down there. Uh, with a 10 megapixel, you're looking at about 3 centimeters. Uh, to get 15 centimeters, which is normally what we fly, it's about 1,500 to 1,600 feet. Uh, to fly a quarter section, flight time would be about 20 minutes. Uh, and usually, set up to take off, I, if I time myself and things go well, I can usually pull into a field, uh, fly a quarter section, and by the time I pull out of the field, with the set of batteries charged for the next field, it's usually between 40 minutes and an hour. And then there's some processing time. So it takes a bit to process them. Our software is actually going to be able to 